welcome to and welcome back in my channel today hope you are doing good and well and definitely happy in your life as well and i wish everybody a great year ahead today i come up with a again few small topics about service now it says let's explore because these are the points these are the things which i found in my discussions with my customer and earlier what happened that i have to be wait for my developer to be come and give me update okay this can be done by this way and this can be done by this way and with experience i learned this thing and i want to share this knowledge with everyone so in today's discussion we are going to be discuss four major topics four topics not major four topics small small one status in color code like if i want to change or i want to show a record progress in the color coding right red amber green yellow white kind of things how i can make a change in the background color of a field if it is a p1 then what should be done p2 what should be done i'm not going in that much coding just on a higher uh, high level side number 3 that how we can use the hierarchical list specifically when we want to be compared to three four records in a one go and last how i can add the parent breadcrumb or i can say the formatter in the records or in the form level not in the records on the form level so let's start this discussion with a small or the first topic called the status in color code so let me bring back to my instance and let me open the incident management and let me come here click on the all so now you can see two things number one these down arrows or these arrows are coming number two this color code is coming let me open a record here number three that it is coming as red in the background and number four i have added a new field here so this is the topic or these are the four points which we are going to be cover in today's discussion specifically okay so now let's understand the first point that i want to make sure that the color should be red for this particular field again i am not putting any kind of a, what i can say scripting or any kind of a conditional conditional uh, conditions i can say i am just making a background completely with the one color i respective any any particular value has been added there okay but if you want to put on a specific color you have to do the client side scripting as well so let's say i want to go for this priority or let's say i want to go for the urgency so what you have to do right click go to the styles here when you click on the styles and then click on the new and then it's taking the field automatically and value you can put and style i can put here background color comma it's spelling is wrong it's background color comma let's see green let's check will it work or not for us if not we need to be see that why it's not working so now come back here open an incident come here and let's see will it making changes yes it is making changes here it means but if you change something in the emergency let me click on the new incident here <clears throat> so by default it's coming as a this one so if you want to change something if you say it's two or one the color should be changed for that we have to be write a client script so that we can make a changes but the first point that these things can be make a change on the particular a uh, field level i can say that is the first point second point let's say i am going here and opening it all incident here okay so you can see this color code is there yellow white green mainly mainly these things can be used when we when we work on the release part or maybe when we work on the patching sides or when we work on the story part that this much has been completed this much has been completed or i can say uh, there's a there's a module called uh, continual improvement given by service now in that we have a percentage so we can use this particular options and it can highlight it here again it is a pure configuration no customization but 
for my case for this particular case as i am using incident management table so what i will do or what i did let me open an incident right click <coughs> configure table <coughs> sorry and let create a new field here so i can create let me show you the field which i created for my demo purpose is the status let me come here and search quickly this one you can say okay so what we can do and let let me click on the new and now we will add a new type specifically that is called the percent complete percent complete and i can say lng support that how much i am supporting to the community you can put it will come automatically now what you have to do we have to go for attributes here but now one thing let me tell you if i click on the save here which is important if you are creating a new attributes or new dictionary entry in a table by default we are in the view called the default view if you go in the default view you will not able to find this option or this field or this attribute on the form level that is called the attribute here so what we have to be do we have to be come here and we have to go and make a change in the view that is called the default view here okay and now what we have to do we have to be write a code here okay and what we have to be write let me copy that code from here itself let me see if i can get a code here itself okay configure dictionary let me go please <clears throat> because there is a one line of code which you can put so this is what the code is there let me copy this and then we'll explain this in our discussion so i can come here this one so what i did it says tar target underscore threshold underscore colors one thing which is important to understand here maybe someone says here or in in service now we are using specifically uh, english which belong to us part because this if you see the, there are two spellings colors and color c o l o u r s and c o l o r s it is a different colors are there okay so we using this color here okay it says set the color 0 if it is 0 or less than 20 not equal to but less than 20 that it should be a red color if it is 20 till 70 it can be orange color from 70 to 89 it should be yellow color and from 90 to 100 because we assume that percentage or the status or this particular progress should be always 100 not more than that okay then you can put a green here and now i can click on the update what is the benefit of this particular field uh, or the purpose of this field here so now what i will do i'll come here and go and open my incident record <coughs> and click on the new here if it is a blank it is not taking that value okay so now you can see i have a lng support here so if i put here let's say 12 and here i put 88 and also one point is that we don't require to add this field manually on the form level as soon as you create the dictionary entry it will come on the form level automatically if you want to hide but there is no purpose in that case so you can you can make a change and also you can put decimal value as well so let if i say 7 let's say 89.50 and let me click on the color here put create a new one <coughs> future test and save here so now once you save let me go and open the all incident here it's there number is 14 okay so you can see this is becoming let me add a new more one more field that is called the lng status here and you can add the with this status and click okay so now you can see if it is 89.5 it is like this it is less than 20 because we have a condition like this you can see like this the only thing is that on the list view it will be show like this here you if you want you can make a change here but it is not a fulfilling any purpose so better to make it or add in the form level only so if i say like 25 click okay so it will convert automatically 
if you want to hide it from here sorry if you want to be make it uh, readable here you can use acs or maybe the only side you can you can use the client scripts but other than this there's nothing to be there this is the second part we want to discuss now let's coming on the third part that is called the hierarchical list so now you can see these two options these options like arrow key this is called the hierarchical list okay and how it can be done or what is the purpose of this let's say i want to compare these two records in a one window okay so i can click on this and i can click on this mainly on the transactional data it is not that much useful that's not recommended but on the foundation data maybe you want to compare two locations maybe you want to compare two users with the different rows and different groups so you can use that part okay what we have to do to add this particular option right click on any column go to configure go to list control and then you have to be check box this particular option once you opt click on the update it will work for us and again it will work only one module at a given point of time it doesn't mean that it can be work for everywhere in the in the form level no it is not like that so now what i'll do let's come here and user admin and let me say on the users okay let's say i want to be compare these two users even though i already added this option here so you can see i can go configure and i can go to list control i already added this particular option here okay so what i will do i'll just click on the back here and now if i click let me click on this and let me click on this you will say to what is the benefit only one thing is showing no so now if i want to be compare elin with let's say elisa so i can see there is no user role but it is not it is atul it is showing only one no it is not showing only one related list you can right click and you can see here that it has total five rows no group no delegates no skill it means i can do that but plus i can put the filter here let me take a, a good example let me close this uh let me say any approver no groups okay uh <clears throat> let me see atf user is it part of yes okay so now this atf user having total 52 rows but no group assigned if i have to be compare with anybody else now in this case it will be long list so be careful now i can go and click it the only thing is that it will show only one record at a time so now you can see it has a 40 rows two groups if you click on groups it will show the groups only if you click on delegates it will show delegates only the only thing is that it is a one quick check box need to be configured that's all but again i prefer don't much don't much use on the transactional data because here the detail list can be more which can create a problem for the system performance as well now come to the last point that is called the parent breadcrumb this is always a question that this problem record is opened or has been coming from this particular change or this incident has been coming from this particular record or this particular things where no practically or the graphical representation available very easily in service now so what we are going to be do here now let me come here and let me open the problem record let me show you some all here okay what we what we need to do it is very easy to do but yes it is a changes on the form level so maybe if you are using this it can be considered as a customization because you are adding a new field on the form if recommending if you are want to be used you can use otherwise you can drop an idea as well okay so let me show you one example here if it will be available for me uh okay where i added this one okay let's do one thing then okay let open this this is a change okay and i can go here nothing is there so what we need to be do here just right click here and go to the configure and go to the form design okay simple simple as nothing much to be worry on that part okay and now here you can see this option okay what i did mainly let, let me show you something here let's close this okay what you can do add one more section and 
if you want to put any name you can put it here and make it as a one column and then go here and search for the parent breadcrumb and add here okay if you want to be scroll down maybe i can take a little bit scroll down as well just to show that the way it has been appearing it okay so we where we have this work notes it's breadcrumb and now save this let's see will my code will work or not now right come here and try to reload this form and we'll find out that is my particular formatter is coming or not sorry uh it's not coming here where it is gone logically it should be here only okay let me find out what went wrong in my breadcrumb formatter okay it is be showing here only no i don't okay let let me do one thing let me do one thing come here sometime it happens cancel it okay and try to do it again it happens sometime because yesterday when i was trying it took four or five attempts for me to make a changes maybe some other reasons are there so let me remove this okay now let's come here and add one section okay i can remove this section that's fine and i can make it as a one column okay and i can make it as a parent breadcrumb not sure that why it's giving me always this problem okay it's there now let me save this hope it will work now for me i'm hoping it it should work and we can go and reload my form we have to just find out where we have added this now it is not showing here it is not showing here it is not showing here but it is gone why it was not showing so let's do little bit r and d on that part so we have this section here and we added this breadcrumb here and now we will save this let me okay we already saved and let me reload this form and you can see that this field is coming now what is the logic behind this that need to be understand that why it was not showing earlier okay let's do one thing let's remove this and try to do save here will it show this is what the question we have now to be understand here because this has a logic here okay why it was not working earlier when we tried and now i got a uh, got a logic in my mind is that because it will show only when this particular record has a parent and a parent has a parent as well so now what we will do i will add a parent here let's say i want to be add a parent 11 number and let me save this will it work now let's see yes it is working so we are talk I, i was thinking what the first you put it by but it should have a parent so now if you click on this it will take you on that particular that part and if this particular change let's say i have copy this 11 number change and i go here and search here and let me put this 11 number change as a parent for some other is there any error file see as well and click on this and sorry click on this and now if i come back here it should be there so this is what service now added that if a record don't have a parent then this will not visible to the users so now with this i'm concluding this particular part hope you like this session if you like if you get some knowledge please share with your friends and colleagues and in case you think something goes wrong here where you can help me please put your comments as well i'll come back again with some other video some other day till the time thank you and have a nice day guys bye bye